As white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. If you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid correcting them, just take a beat. And instead we can put our listening ears on. It has come to our attention that white women are guilting themselves into voting for Kamala Harris in this upcoming election. So in this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome back to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel so we can push this video out to more people just like you and me. Now, white women, white suburban women, white suburban women are coming out in droves according to the Kamala Harris campaign where they had a Zoom call and it literally broke Zoom in half because too many people showed up and they raised millions of dollars. Let's say that is true at the end of the day because I'm not going to go back and forth with people on this. Will those votes actually matter at the end of the day? Will those votes actually win her the election or are the Democrats betting on the wrong thing? But for us to even figure this out, let's hear the mindset behind these women. Let's play that clip. Do you want to know how I know? that America, specifically white female America, do you want to know how I know that we are ready for Kamala Harris to be our president? I mean, I hear all kinds of detractors out there about it, about America not being ready. But let me tell you, I have proof. I have proof that America is ready. And you want to hear it? You want to hear it? The white women's phone call, the Zoom call last night that raised eight and a half million dollars. I promise in my soul, I believe it never, never would have happened without the leadership of those 44,000 black women. If they hadn't done what they did on Sunday, raising all that money, if they hadn't had the genius idea to do it, if they hadn't collected had that unity come together. If they hadn't, if those women hadn't gotten together, the white women Zoom call never would have taken place. So you know what that tells me? White women respect black female leadership. White women are ready to follow Kamala Harris. Oh my God. I mean, very touching video, right? I literally was about to cry. Not, and let's really separate fact from feelings. Just because you got everybody to show up to a Zoom call does not mean America is ready for someone as incompetent as Kamala Harris. Now, you might say the Democrat Party is ready because they know that they can control her and they have a real life example of controlling a president already, President Biden. So if, if they can control him and make sure that they can dictate his schedule and protect his image and not leave him exposed, even though they made the mistake on that debate night, which is why we're here, they definitely can do it with Kamala Harris. So two things could be true. Yes, all these women showed up to a Zoom call and donated money. And it's also true that America does not need another progressive leader in the White House. We know that to be true. But hey, maybe I have the wrong mindset about this because we got other women doubling down on this. Let's check this clip out. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I just wanted to make a message for all the white women out there that we need to come together and we need to vote for Kamala Harris as president. That's right, girl power, I'm with her and I need you to be with her. And if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, then you are a racist and a bigot. So if you don't wanna be a racist and a bigot, then you need to vote for Kamala Harris. Because I swear, if we don't come together and vote for Kamala Harris, then there's a good chance that we are going to lose this election to Donald Trump! Whoa. Yeah. So, um, listen, if I don't vote for Kamala Harris, I guess I'm racist and I'm a bigot. Let me tell you something right now. If you watch my videos and you follow me, if you don't vote for Donald Trump, you're not a racist and you're not a bigot. Let me just tell you that right now. Because throwing those words around is what's wrong with this country to begin with. Stop watering down the word racism, please. If someone doesn't want to vote for someone, they don't want to vote. Who gives a shit? I don't care. 
But hey, this is their game. This is their world. It's all about identity politics. It's about the color of your skin over common sense. It's about your gender over competency. And now, hey, if you're a white woman, you got to go out there and vote because we got to prove that we can follow black women. Oh, so it's all about race. It's not actually about helping everyday Americans. See, notice something right now. As you continue to follow the Kamala Harris campaign, they are going to continue to talk about themselves, their skin color, their gender. That is going to be the main priority, not you and not me and not everyday Americans who are getting clobbered by the economy. But hey, if that's not enough, we got to listen to this clip. This is a message for every single person who looks like me, specifically white women. It's time. This is no longer about politics, and you get to right your wrongs of 2016 when you didn't put a woman in the White House who was overly qualified. Now's your chance. You did not stand behind black women, people of color, immigrant families, differently abled people, none of them. You said, I matter more than you in 2016. Not anymore you have the chance to again put an overly qualified person in a seat that they absolutely deserve because they are willing to go to bat for you and everyone around you. This is no longer about red versus blue. This is our lives that we are playing with. And the, the peace that you have control over is who you vote for in November. You need to find a spine to stand up against the white men in your life who are telling you who should be your president. Okay, so you guys seen that, right? I mean, 2016 was a mistake. Wow, the arrogance, right? The arrogance, because Secretary Clinton was overly qualified, so she should have got the job. Listen, if anybody out there can relate to this, all business owners know what I mean. We don't want overqualified people. We want people who are going to be competent, who are actually going to get us the results. Secretary Clinton went into that ele election with arrogance. She believed it was a foregone conclusion that she didn't go out there and earn anybody's vote. She demanded people's vote. President Trump, on the other hand, he went out there and earned people's vote. He went to those rural places. She never went to those places. So let's set the record straight on that. So when it comes to a mistake, no, the mistake is on the Clinton campaign. That's number one. Number two, white women, can you do the right thing and rebel against your white men? How toxic is that? Right. How taught is that what we're teaching our children now? Let's rebel against each other as adults. Is this high school or something like what's going on? It, it's as if our society has been infected by what do we call it? The woke mind virus. Right. That's exactly what's happening. We've got skin color. We've got gender. And now we have gender roles being wrapped up into this conversation. Yeah. Don't listen to your white men. Rebel against them. Tell me how that helps everyday Americans. Tell me how that makes sure that our border is secure. How does that help our inflation come down? How does that protect parents' rights? How does that make sure that we're going to have a prosperous economy for everyday Americans? Oh, I forgot. It's got nothing to do with that. She said it in the video. Hey, this election has nothing to do with politics, which means it has nothing to do with policy. It has everything to do with her skin color and her gender. Got it. This is how insane they are. So this leaves us with the question, will this work? Will this get Harris elected as the president? I'm not too sure, but let's hear something that Dr. Umar Johnson said recently on this exact topic. Play the clip. If we nominate Kamala Harris as the Democratic Party's president, can she bring us those women votes? Those undecided women. Can Kamala Harris bring us all the poor black women, the working class black women, the upper class? Can she bring us the white middle class women? Can she bring us the poor white women? They are banking on art the fact that there's 10 million more women than men registered. 
And if we stick Kamala Harris out there for us, can she bring us the greater share of those 10 million female votes? Here's what it's going to come down to. Do white women prefer? Do white women prefer a woman of color or a white man? That's what it's going to do. White American women prefer to have a white man in the presidency or a woman of color. And you know what I think, Art? I'm not completely decided, but I would say to you, wasn't this question already answered for us when Donald Trump took on Hillary Clinton? Did not America's white women choose Trump over Clinton when it came time for the Electoral College to cast them votes? They went with Trump. So if they chose Trump over Clinton, here's the question, Art. If American white women chose Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton the first time Trump ran against a Democratic female, why would they switch and choose Kamala Harris over Trump the second time? If they chose Trump over a very well experienced, very popular Hillary Clinton the first time, why would they switch and now choose a black woman, half black, half South Asian, half East Indian? Why would they choose a black woman over Trump when they didn't even choose Hillary Clinton over Trump? OK, so you guys seen that now. Obviously, that is a great question. What do white suburban women really want? Are they going to be caught in this whole gender role war that's going on online where it's men versus women masculinity versus femininity like is that what it's going to be all about tapped into oh she's a person of color and because of our white privilege we believe we know what's best for black people so let's vote for someone who appears to be black the irony right that a white woman knows what's best for a black woman. Got it. Got it. Like, if I was sitting in front of one of these women, I'd just ask them just straight out, like, where do you get this idea from? How do you know that is what's best for the black community? Because we are making this about race. Remember? It's about race. It's about gender. So how do you know this is the right thing? They don't have an answer for that, of course. But... Before I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you. I want you guys to think about this. What's going to, what I believe it's really going to come down to is white suburban women. That's who Kamala Harris is trying to go after because she can't go after black men and she cannot go after blue collar workers. That ain't going to work. They see right through her. So she's going to target, her campaign's going to target that white privilege, that guilt. I'm a person of color. You should vote for me. You should protect your freedom, your body autonomy. That's what she's going to lead with. And the question is, will that turnout on Election Day be larger than the turnout for the blue collar workers, the paycheck to paycheck workers, black men, men in general, who's really going to show up? And I'm going to tell you guys this, since getting into politics, I realized one of the biggest problems, especially on the Republican side, is that there's a lot of people who see what's going on and know it's bullshit, but still won't show up on election day to vote. And there's a lot of people who don't really see what's going on and they show up and they vote for Democrats. The paradox, right? That's my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about these white women using their white privilege to say, hey, white women, you need to re rebel against your husbands. You need to go vote for a person of color. This is what's best for black women. This is what's best for the country and screw policies and politics. It's about her gender. It's about her race. It's about the fact that we got it wrong in 2016, even though Secretary Clinton was arrogant as hell. But hey, none of that really matters, right? I want to hear what you guys have to think about this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay strong, and stay true. Peace.